right welcome to zero to docker learning path by school of devops now if you expected me to start with what is docker and how awesome it is you're surely in for a surprise because instead of me telling you how awesome it is i want you to experience it firsthand because nothing beats the first hand experience now let's take a scenario and do this let's say we want to set up tomcat as a web application and let's compare this with the vm approach let's say we want to set up vm now we have to start from scratch so we'll have to set up an environment maybe install uh, the virtual machine application then we'll have to download an image uh, then we start the start the continue, start the virtual machine uh, then we log into it we install all the dependencies maybe java and uh, rest of the dependencies for tomcat then we install tomcat application and then we start it and then we see the web page running maybe it will take a couple of days to start from scratch and if you have if you want to take a shortcut let's say somebody gives you an image with tomcat installed with everything else uh, in there it will still take you at least a few minutes maybe you know 30 minutes to be uh, sort of a best time uh, let's come back to a container approach and learn how easy and how fast it is compared to the vm approach let's say the best time for vm is 30 minutes uh, how long do you think a container would take 15 minutes 10 minutes it's going to take you 5 minutes to go from zero to set up the environment to launch a tomcat application running inside a container if you don't believe it and if you want to try it on your own follow me to go from zero to docker the first thing that we need is an environment and we're going to use labs play with docker.com which gives us a cloud based environment to launch our containers in and this is a zero setup environment all you need to do is create an instance which is like creating a vm or a server but it happens all through the browser and on the cloud and it will take few seconds to have it ready and in the meanwhile the second thing that we need is uh, an image to launch a container with just like a vm image and that's where we go to docker hub docker hub is a repository of all such images with uh, applications and the complete runtime environment for it uh, just like github though the only difference is uh, here we're talking about docker images and not the source code and i'm going to choose an image for tomcat and launch it here and if you go to tomcat image it also gives you a command to launch this with in the world of docker copy and paste simply works so we're going to copy this paste it here and maybe uh, just make one more change to launch it that's it and it's going to go to the registry pull the image launch the container all within few seconds not even minutes and i have a container running just like a vm and i can see that tomcat here that's it i can also see the container running here ps i can show you what's running inside by connecting to it that's all is running inside a container incredible isn't it well that was something and sorry i lied to you it does not take 5 minutes it takes 2 so if you thought 5 is awesome 2 is insane and let's look at what all we did in those 2 minutes we actually set up an environment we could pull an image which contained our application that is tomcat Uh, and then we could launch a container using that image and we could also connect to it see what is happening all of that in 2 minutes and this incredibleness of docker got me hooked to it once i was trying to set up an application which is a replica of stack overflow it's a python django based application called as ask bot and it requires a very specific configuration specific version of django and mod wsgi the python uh, pashe there is a, a database backend 
and it took us about four days to actually you know look through the documentation get it working there was no complete documentation available so we had to actually try things around fiddle around and finally we got it to work and, and it took us about four days to do that now somebody suggested us to look into docker and it we could find an image on the docker hub uh, we could actually pull that image set up the application all within five minutes that's incredible now if that got you interested in docker why don't you download the worksheet given with this video and get your hands dirty with docker and once you have experienced it i'm going to start talking about what is docker and what makes it awesome in the next lessons mm -hmm.